everybody, it's Katie. I am 39 weeks and a few days. My due date is this coming Thursday, so I've got a little less than a week. Thank goodness. I am so ready <laughs> to have this baby. I actually had a little meltdown last night. My first one, um, but so I'm done. I am just ready. So anyway, today I wanted to talk to you guys about um, some other things that I'm going to be taking to the hospital besides my hospital bag. I had read on a few blogs and talked to a few mom friends about kind of taking care of the older siblings as the newer, younger baby sibling comes into the world. And I thought that was a really good idea because I, I always want my daughter to feel special even though when we're at the hospital, she definitely won't be the center of attention. Um, I, I want her to feel special and loved and cherished. So we have got a few things that we're going to, that we have planned for her. We bought a few little gifts and we're not taking them all to the hospital just because I don't have enough room. <laughs> um, but we are gonna take um, one thing to the hospital and then have a few things waiting for her at home. So the first thing that we're going to take, I got this at Michael's. It's a Disney, they're called Busy Books, and I got one for her um, probably a year ago, and she loved it. So on the inside, it's um, just the stories of, this one is Disney's Palace Pets, but then, here's the greatest part. At the end, there is um, a little play mat that you open up, and it actually opens up to be a pretty good size, and it has a bunch of different scenes, and then it has little tiny figurines, and they're actually painted pretty well. They're really cute. And my daughter likes little things. She likes the little toys. She's not so much into big dolls and Barbies, but she really likes miniature stuff. So she's going to be super excited about this. So we'll wrap it. And our plan is to tell her that this is her gift from her baby sister. Um, we will have it stuck back. And if we feel like she's maybe feeling left out or I don't know, just needs a little bit of extra encouragement or a reminder that she's awesome and special. We will have this at the hospital for her. If not, if she's just super excited about her little sister, then we might wait. I'm not sure, but it'll be wrapped and it'll be in the hospital bag. So we'll have it ready for um, just for something special and fun from her new baby sister. So that's, I got that at Michael's and I think it was about $13, but for our kiddo, well worth it. The next thing we have, and we will probably leave this here, is actually this awesome find that my parents scored at a garage sale, but it's a, a, an Ariel Barbie princess, couple different outfits. She's been into Ariel lately, so she'll be really excited about this. So we'll have this here for her. And then last, gotta love Costco, love Costco. We got her this storybook activity pad. It was $12.99, but there's jewels, which is very important, and there's stickers inside, and it has glitter, which is also very important when you're four, and so there's the stickers, and there's the coloring pad, and it's big, and she can lay down on the, on the floor with it and color and do stickers and she'll be spending time with my dad um, while we are at the hospital. So if this is necessary, this will come in very handy. She can also bring it to the hospital with her if she needs something to do after the baby's born. But we'll leave this at home because as you can see, it's kind of large, but she, uh, she'll be pretty excited about this. So this, you know, it's I'm not saying that it's absolutely necessary to buy or your child something but we want to make sure that she knows like I said that she's special and she's loved and um, that even though we're celebrating the arrival of a new baby that we celebrate her too and that um, she's still our princess she's just gonna be our older princess so those are the items that we got for her there's also one other thing that I'm going to be taking to the hospital um, as I've thought about the people that are going to be taking care of me and my husband and then the baby when she comes to, I want to um, honor them. I know nurses, they, they work long hours and sometimes maybe some mamas might not be very charitable. I hope I'm charitable. 
but in case I'm not, no, I'm kidding. Anyway, um, I made a basket just kind of as a thank you. I got the basket at Michael's because they always have sales on baskets. I think the basket was a couple dollars. And then I got a fun um, coloring book for specifically for women and it has a bunch of inspiring quotes and fun pictures inside. Then the colored pencils that go with it, some chocolates, some chewing gum, some chapstick, some individual lotions, and then I went to Costco, again, Costco, and I bought a box of the Kind Bars, and so I put about nine or ten of them in there, and then just filled the bot bottom with um, white crinkle paper. So we're going to put this in a big bag and take that along with us and drop it off at the nurse's station when we check in. I am also going to be slipping in here on the top somewhere, um, probably several copies of my birth plan. <laughs> That'll be a nice way to encourage them to look at it and um, also just that I'm not just um, a number or a person in room 302 that, um, you know, just, just a little bit of love and want to make sure that they're taken care of too because I know that dealing with laboring women is probably sometimes kind of challenging so anyway that's what i've got and i will let you know how it all turns out and what the what the older daughter thinks about her toys and how the nurses receive the basket so like i said hopefully baby will be coming sometime this week and yeah i can't wait i'm so ready <laughs> hope you guys have a good day bye